What is up everyone and welcome back. Again, we're going to continue our territories videos today. Um, I hope you're all well before we get into it. Today we're going to do pennies and two peas. Doing both in one video because we've only got nine different pennies and ten different two peas. So let's not mess about. Let's get straight into it, shall we? Um, for the pennies, we've got four territories. So again, nothing from the Falklands. We've got Guernsey, Isle of Man, Gibraltar and Jersey. Seven designs and nine different coins in total. So let's start off with Guernsey. And this is 1979, as you can see there at the bottom. Uh, doesn't have a queen on the obverse, but has the coat of arms. Which actually I just found out. They're not actually lions. They're actually leopards, apparently, on this coat of arms. But yeah, on the reverse there, one penny, of course. And then we have a gannet. Which um, we call a gannet, someone who's greedy. I don't know about you guys. Someone who eats a lot and eats fast. They're a gannet, that's what they're like. A gannet. <laughs> 2.4 million of those. And then we move on straight away from Guernsey. That's the only one we had. Onto the Isle of Man. And here we have our good friend, the Lockton Ram. Which we do see, of course, more commonly on the 50Ps. We've found them in 50p hunts before, and it's a different um, angle, of course. It's just the head of the ram on the 50 pence looking at you. But yeah, back in 1976, it was on the penny. And we see the Isle of Man there in the background as well. Top topographical map of the island. 900,000 minted of this one. And the second portrait there, Arnold Mashin's second portrait. And then only the second and only other Isle of Man penny we've got. We have this awesome Manx cat, which again is seen on another coin. Um, and again, we have seen it on the channel before, and it's seen on the crown, of course. And we sent Christopher one in his mystery bag fairly recently as well. If you've not seen that video, do go and check that out on Christopher Collect's channel. I'm sure you've probably all seen it though. Same portrait again, and this is a 1980. And this is probably going to be really difficult to see. I say this every time, but just below the cat's right rear foot. So just above the one there is, I think it's an AC die mark on this one. But yeah, pretty nice design. I think I found this one in change as well. I remember finding this. So two animal coins. And both subjects appear on other coins as well, which I thought was quite interesting. And then we move on to Gibraltar. Two different designs from here. First up, we've got another pretty cool one in my opinion. And the condition's not too bad. And this is a 2005 penny from Gibraltar. And then on the um, reverse, we have the mace of the House of the Assembly. Or mace of the House of Assembly, even. And on the left there, it says Constitution Order 1969. The House of Assembly is kind of like the um, Parliament for British territories, if you like. And then we've got two different dates. It's in lovely condition, that one, isn't it? Look at the shine on it. Two different dates of the Barbary Partridge, which again we see on another coin in the 10 pence, which we saw very recently, two videos ago, while we were doing our territory run through. And we've got the 2012 and 2013 Barbary Partridge. And both in not too shabby condition. Obviously fairly recent coins, only being seven and eight years old. But that's Gibraltar done as well. And last country for the well, last territory for the one pence before we move on to the two peas is Jersey. And here we have a coat of arms. Actually, was this the one with the leopards? I'm confusing myself now. Maybe they both are. I think this is the one with the leopards. I'm gonna have to check this out now. We'll confirm in the next territories video, guys. 
and this one's got a mintage of 4.5 million. Not the best condition that one is it, it's got something on it there all down the side where another coin has been sat on here perhaps. But yeah, that's that. And then we have two of, they do like a tower on the Jersey coins don't they? And this is a coastal defence La Hoc tower built back in 1781 and had a massive cannon on the roof which was able to be moved around into position and manoeuvred. Two dates on that, 1994, which is a 2 million mintage, and 2002, which is a 1.5 million-ish mintage, so both pretty common. Snacks is snoring away, he's getting comfortable. So that's the pennies done, just nine different coins of seven designs. But next we move on to the two pence. For two peas, again, we've this, oh, in fact, we've only got three territories this time. Nothing from Gibraltar or the Falklands. Um, just six different designs and ten coins in total. So let's continue rattling through it. And this is probably my favourite of the two P's actually to kick us off. It is a quite a cool design. I don't think it's any specific cyclists. I think it's just cyclists in general. 1997 coin. Cracking design. A friend gave me that. I remember who gave me that. And then we've got two of these. And I remember getting one of these actually out of a 2P machine last summer down at the coast. And as with a lot of the Isle of Man coins, again, we have Ellen Van in there at the top, which is, of course, the um, Manx language for Isle of Man, which is an old Celtic language. And we've got two different dates on this, 1990 and 1994. And there the subject matter is um, it's a stone cross, various tools, like knitting needles, a spindle, weaving shuttle, and a pottery wheel, and then the finished vase there. Pretty cool little design, quite busy. But yeah, two different dates on that. And then... We move on to Guernsey, and we've got two different designs here. This is the first one, and this is the mill on Sark. And Sark is actually a small island between Guernsey and Jersey, population of about 500, but considered the jewel in the crown of the Channel Islands. Lovely condition, that obverse, isn't it? Showing this side isn't quite so nice. But yeah, built back in 1571, the Sark Mill. Um, and actually during German occupation in World War One was used as an observ observation tower. Yeah, Channel Island's always been a big part of um big part of war, basically. Always embroiled in it with, with their position in it, positioning even. Then we move on to the awesome Guernsey cow, two pence. We've got three different dates on this. 1996, as a miniature of 500,000. 1999, which is in a bit better condition, that one, isn't it? A miniature of 600,000. Showing about that spot down there and this up here, but it will do for now. And then the 2006, which is a lot more common, over double the mintage of both of those, just over 1.3 million. And the Guernsey cow, obviously, a dairy cow. Don't know if that is obvious, but it is a dairy cow. Um, and pretty famous, pretty famous cow, breed of cow. And then to top us off, again, we've got Jersey at the end, and as we know, they do like to um, have a lot of similarities between their designs. So as the, with the one pence, we have the 2P as well, with the uh, coat of arms there. And this one's got a miniature of 2 million, the 1980. And then we've got the Hermitage of St. Helier. Two dates on this, 1990. 1998, both very common. Now we've stuck to um, 
and the decimal one p's and two p's we do have some more older bits and pieces as well one twelfth of a shilling and some doubles is it doubles doubles i don't know to be honest but we're going to include that in the um the last video in the territory series uh, which will be basically everything else crowns we've got some old three pence some bits and pieces i'm gonna put all that in one video so now we've done the one pounds 20 p's 10 p's fives two p's and one p's so we've got the awesome one next which will be the 50 p's and then we'll do everything else so thanks for watching again guys pick us a favorite as you do let me know what ones you've got that i haven't because i'm interested to pick up some more of these territories i do love them um but thanks for watching as i said speak to you soon see you later